maybe focus that. So, hi, it's Ron Suju. We're back at the uh, Essex studio and we're working on my newest piece and this is going to be the piece for Ron Stock. This is our our free print every year we do for the last, what, 28 years, Colleen? I think 28, 30 maybe? Probably Almost 30. 30, I think. Anyway, for 30 years we've given away a free print every year. Unfortunately, with with uh, the uh, with COVID happening now, we still in, we're still in lockdown, but we've made every effort to become uh, make uh, Ron Stock this year the most generous Ron Stock ever, because we can't just hand you a print over for like when you walk in. There's you can't walk in. We can't have hundreds of people, which we usually do. I mean, we've had over 1,100 people at Ron Stock one time, so that can't happen. But anyway, uh, we're going to, uh, we're painting a painting special for Ron Stock, and it's going to be free uh, with the, our very special frame packages that we're, all, we're putting out with these things. So, and anyway, uh, along with uh, that, we're actually going to be talking as we go through this hour uh, about all of the really neat things because Ron Stock, instead of being, what was it, usually two days, I guess, right? Yeah. Instead of being Saturday and Sunday, we're actually starting Ronstock the Monday before Father's Day weekend. And uh, we'll run uh, from the 14th, which is Monday, right through to uh, 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock or whatever it is. It's 4 o'clock on Saturday. Before, yeah, it'll be 4 o'clock on Saturday. I don't know anything I'm talking about here. So anyway, uh, any so what we've done is we're going to every week we're going to have some door prize or every day we're going to have door prizes. Uh, we're going to have some we're going to have five or uh, six actually amazing, amazing uh, uh, things that you can win art pieces that you can win uh, one a day. Uh, we're going to have a piece and I think our, our prizes alone for that week are going to equal over four thousand dollars in value. So anyway, I'm going to get at the painting here. This painting has moved along quite a bit since you saw it. The other day we just had a basic uh, background. Uh, it, it bothered me so much to sit there and look at it. It's just like horrible when you see backgrounds that are unfinished. They're not even as good as a sketch at that point because there's just no, there seems to be no logic to the look of it. And anyway, this is, a, is a, it's not too much better. <laughs> so what I've done is I've actually put the, um, the best way for me to work, I, I think, is to actually do a silhouette of, of where I want things to go. Uh, I'll actually do paper cutouts to make sure that, uh, like, I'll, I'll put the horse's head on, make sure that I got it right, uh, because I don't want to actually go through a painting and 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 so so many artists do this, where they're painting a painting and painting along, painting along, and all of a sudden they realize that they didn't leave enough room for the horses nose or whatever to and they squash it to fit the canvas and actually there's a very high profile horse uh, artist in Canada I'm not going to mention the name but you know considered to be a, in the top and we were at the art expo in Toronto a while back and I couldn't believe it his the horse was beautifully done it was a horse's head very similar to this but even larger it really fit the whole canvas but he, you could tell he was running out of room and he actually made the horse's ears too small and it just stood out like I couldn't believe it. I mean, and this is a man that's charging eight, nine, ten thousand dollars per painting, and I just couldn't believe that he was, you know, he didn't plan it out. Anyway, so uh, the piece that we're doing is called Kennel. It's Kennel War, or I'm sorry, we'll refer it to Man, as Man of War, but it's uh, Room Service at Kennel War. <laughs> How I'm losing my mind. <laughs> There's a lot of fumes in here today, by the way. No, no. But yeah, it's room service at Kenilworth. It's Man of War. It's the day before Man of War's most famous race, Man of War, raced in uh, 2000 or 1920, and be, uh, became obviously the most famous horse in the world. It was the only race that uh, that he did in Canada. It was done right here in Windsor, right across from Devonshire Mall. A lot of people think it was at Devonshire Mall. There was two race tracks at that point, two race parks. The one where Devonshire Mall sits on today was the big one. The Kenilworth was actually, uh, we're, co we're calling discovered it was put in place for the Man of War race. Uh, I don't, I just don't know about the fact being. I don't even know where that came from, but I, I thought, I, yeah. yeah, I should have known that years ago. I don't know, but anyway, so if you went uh, to the mall and you go across the tracks at Howard, uh, I mentioned this the other day there was two great big uh, cement columns and that was the entrance to Kenilworth where 
uh, men or raced. And in uh, it, when uh, back probably um, 10, 15 years ago, you could have went in there and on the right hand side there was an old stable, a stable that had maybe six or seven stalls. Well, it was only part of that race park at that time. And that was uh, the, sta the stable where Man of War was housed during the time that he was here for the race. It was the, the, the third stall to the right. Anyway, so I'm portraying that stable that was here, Windsor, and Man of War the day before the race of the century. And I don't know why I got a big brush in my hand, but we'll figure that out after. And Colleen, as a matter of fact, Colleen, was it who came up with the idea with the brushes? Was it me? I think you <laughs> said it, then Bob and I, and Kelsey said it yeah. one time. Everybody all said, it everybody one said time, this. So, yeah, any anytime you get four people coming up with yeah. the same idea, I think we've got a pretty good idea yeah. here. Yeah. As I'm painting this painting, which is, I, I, I don't know exactly how this works right now, I use these, they're pretty expensive little brushes, but you know, they get worn and a little tattered and torn. But what I'm going to be doing is, uh, I will be using 10, I, 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 you can't really see, or I can't. Can you tell if you can see it on your monitor there? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so they're tiny little brushes, they're very, very good little brushes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 10 of these as I'm painting, almost like you see the presidents signing and they hand the pen <laughs> on. So I'm going to actually be painting along and then I'll, I'll hand the brush off uh, to Colleen or whatever. And that brush is going to be put aside and, it, and I'm going to guarantee it. We are actually going to certify the brush being used on the painting. And that's going to be in the press proof packages. Only. Ten, ten. So only 10 brushes are going to be used. And I think I could, I'll actually autograph the brush, whether it means anything to anybody or not. But yeah, and that, yeah, okay, yeah. So anyway, uh, I got the image of, this is Man of Wars, oh, could somebody look up his name so I don't sound like an idiot. No, 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 that's no, the no, horse no, he the, raised. The fellow that was his, uh, yeah, yeah the, the, the keeper, his keeper. His keeper. And we're going to look that up right now, because that's him right here. I mean, here I am. I've got a subject, but I don't even know the guy's name. So I'm actually taking kind of pure white, yellowy white. And we're going to, back in the background here, which looks like looks like um, a silhouette, is actually uh, a, kind of a bird toad image. When you, you see somebody walking into a barn or something, you have trouble. Actually, it's just like people walking into our gallery here. When you walk in, if I don't recognize you, it's usually because the door's behind you and all I see is a, a silhouette. So I'm actually putting some nice warm color in here. And I'm gonna actually, I put this in here yesterday and it's, I used liquid so it's dry as a bone. Did you find it? No, we're Her, still looking. Bert. Uh, just look up an image. There'll be a hundred of it. I know, I've seen him. the images. I can't find a name underneath it. Oh, okay. And, and, and this is the time when, you know, when you, you're in, in school and you don't want to paint outside the lines. This is actually the very first time, or this is a, a time when you get a chance to paint outside the lines and you're doing it on purpose here. So I'm going to actually go over top of him and, uh, and I'll slowly work at it so I get a perfect, which it'll look like, some people think I use airbrush. Um, I don't use airbrushes at all, but I, I, if I work careful enough, it'll look like I've used airbrushes on these, on this painting. Let me know if you can't hear me well. I'm trying to talk as loud as I can because I don't have a mic on today. Our, our very nice, professional, expensive board that allowed us to run with two cameras, we used it three or four times and it started to fail. A couple of uh, times you would have seen the cameras go black on us and uh and we're the, trying, still trying to yeah, figure yeah. this out so anyway the cameras went black on us and so we were actually taking we have to take the board we're going to send it back and try and get a new one that, that, i don't know what you pay a lot of money for something like that just to get a piece of junk nowadays it seems i have a trainer owner and breeder but i can't find his seriously yeah Riddler, Riddle, 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 Riddle,
it's Belmont Junior was the breeder, but I think that I gotta find Belmont Farms. Seriously, I mean, if you look at Man of War, half the shots have them in it. Here, how about ask, let's ask the public here. Yeah. Anybody, the first one. Will Harvest, is that right? No. No. That's the one piece inside. Who Will who? Will Harvest. They're hearing me anyhow. <laughs> There's somebody's gonna call in. Can't hear a damn thing you're saying. Oh, you're right. Oh, somebody else said that too. Is Will, Will? Har Harbet. Okay, it's Will. Well, just yeah. Will Harbet. 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 Okay. All right. Thank you. Man, that's silly. Oh, I got pictures of it. You're right. Okay. Thank so, you. So, Will, right now, oh, so wait, I'm just going to call him Will. I guess he's a yeah, he's, he's, guy, he's casual. <laughs> Groomer. Groomer, that's it. So, he would walk them and he would cool them down and, and feed them and all that stuff. So, in here, here's Will walking in with a couple buckets. Of oats for man of war the day before he ran the most famous race. <laughs> and the light is starting to, you know, you know what I like is when you walk into these musty little, these musty barns and stuff, there's because of the hay and straw, there's a lot of dust in the air all the time. And that's what gives you this kind of a hazy, foggy light. The painting here is, this This piece uh, is uh, the silhouette, it, it might become irritating because probably for the next two episodes or whatever, uh, or whatever we want to call these things, episodes or shows or whatever, uh, it might be at the end of the, not the next one, but the next one after where I really start to detail this in. The reason I don't detail it in right now is because I, I normally paint I normally paint the whole scenery and then I put the horse over top of it. This time I just wanted it to happen faster so you see the piece the way it looks. So once that's dry, I'm actually going to work and you're gonna, it's going to look a little messy because I'm going to let lines scroll or kind of just uh, overlap the horse's head and then I'm going to actually go back and I'm going to finish Man of War's head afterwards. I think that's going to be the last thing we do here. Because that's the one, although this looks like it's moving along quickly, that's the part that's going to take all the time right here. Because the one thing you do want to do with Man of War is you bet, I better make him recognizable. Because somebody, if I don't make him look like Man of War, I'm going to have complainers. And I wouldn't blame them if they want to complain. If they don't do my job well, you got a right to complain. Is that looking hazy, Colin? It is. Now this light is really, really bright in the background. And uh, that fence is not right at the door. That fence is way, way behind the door. So the more I fade it in, the further back it will look right now. I'll use my little knife to make sure I don't wander over there too far. talking about painting outside the lines no problem to do it here because it, it's the dust in the air that you're actually seeing when I do this if I do swirls too eh? they'll look like swirly dust yes <laughs> yes it does swirly dust so trying to get this um, as even as I can. And for all of you, 
out there you say, oh, well, that's so simple, it's not funny. Wait till you see how detailed the shadow starts to get because in when you're walking through something, it's just like when you walk through a forest and, the, and the, there's a mist in the forest and the rays are coming down through the forest, this will happen right here. He's actually blocking the light. So there's going to be some pretty magical looking shadows happening here. I'll demonstrate them right now if I can. So if I did, oh, well, right, yeah, yeah, so. If I did something like this here, you'll actually start to see, no, you won't. It's going to take a lot much more than that. But anyway, just believe me, it's going to happen. <laughs> You're not talking much today, Colleen. Did you write it for this thing? Help me. Help. Well, here's an interesting thing. They said that when Will uh, Herbert died on October 3rd, 1947, his obituary in the Bloodline Horse listed among his survivors his wife, six sons, three daughters, and man of war. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to actually do a little bit of scenery as I go. I just noticed there's some barrels to the side here. And I think if I actually put them in right now, it might help us out a bit. There's a barrel right here. That's way, way, way too intense. Way, way, way. There we go. <coughs> Not from comments either. Well, hey, yeah. We got comments. Oh, Ava. Or Ava. Ava. Oh, my God. Okay. Must be treating you like daughter. Really. Let's see. So what um, you got, Kelsey? We got Jacqueline Christine. Or Christie's here, mm -hmm. Jana Blair, Thanks. and she adores your shirt, by the way. Oh, <laughs> and Colleen then, doesn't like it. She didn't want me wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sheila Carol Simpson. Oh, Bob cool. Bird. And a few others. Just having trouble loading them right now. So, we got a little barrel sitting here beside it, beside the ceiling, and I can watch this one, I'll put the light here, it should really show up real nice. Yeah, yeah. And then, you'll see just the rip, the rungs, 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 rungs. The rungs? Rungs. I think the rungs. Will died October 3rd, and Anna War died November 1st. Yeah, died of a broken heart, everybody. Well, they said, so. here, this is kind of interesting, here's a, a paragraph, it says, uh, less than a month later, after Will died, uh, a photographer named James Sams recounted to the Blood Horse, this is obviously, a, was a big That's uh, a magazine. paper, yeah, at the time, he visited faraway farms, at the request of the farm manager, Patrick O'Neill, to take some pictures of Man of War. Little did he know that the last photo he took in color would be the final image of the legend. When his new groom, Cunningham Graves, affectionately known as Bud, took Man of War back to his stall, the stallion balked. His head held high, he looked out and down the driveway, perhaps searching for a familiar figure. Finally, Man of War entered his stall at Faraway Farms and laid down. He never got up again. Wow. I, I hopefully everybody heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Colleen, maybe you can move a little closer to the camera. You got something you can do that way? Or? Did everybody hear it or no? I heard it. Did you announce that we are also streaming on Instagram? No, I didn't. We have some people viewing if you want to say hello. Yeah, yeah. I, is that, I don't know how that works. 
Oops. <laughs> That's okay. Just say hi. So, <laughs> hi everyone on Instagram. Yeah. There you go. Kelsey just told me we were live, and she because she told me earlier to remind everybody or that we are we're streaming live on Instagram and on Facebook at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're just, and they're slightly different. One's yep. in color, one's in black, white. No, I'm <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, and we're streaming with two different cameras that way. Yep. And uh, that's the first time we've been on Instagram live streaming. That's so right. Welcome everybody. We're Excited. here by popular request. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I don't know what I'm supposed to ask for you to do, <laughs> but um, somehow get more people to it. Okay, because we're going to actually be doing this, we're doing this on Tuesdays and Fridays until we're done, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, at uh, 12 o'clock. Yep. And uh, hopefully we'll get back to the better camera system, but these ones seem to be okay. As long as people hear me, that's my main concern. Yeah, so we have Jacqueline Christie says, she can hear you pretty good, but she has to have her volume up high. So I'll yell. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody here said they could hear me loud and clear. Oh, good. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. So uh, this is um, a subtle... Again, it, when you start doing something like this, you think it's going to be really easy to accomplish properly. But for me to get the right amount of shadow coming off here, it's actually very, very subtle paint work. Um, I'm trying to get a lot of bright light right now around this bucket, and I'm using my using my little knife to kind of square it off, or yeah, to to get the edge of the bucket. The reason I'm doing that is so that I can really have it look like it's on the side of the doorway. He's well inside here, and. Wherever I have hard edges, they'll end up to be fairly soft in time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, what, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Was it? Bright, bright light. The effect of this is going to be amazing. Not so much just because of the scenery, but as it comes forward and gets far more detail down in here, that's when this whole background effect becomes really, really sharp. So have you got 10 paintbrushes picked out that you're using? No. no. I'm just curious. No, actually, as I go along, I'm going to grab the brush that I need. And okay. when I am start to get into these fine brushes, and I'm going to be giving up some pretty good brushes. Here, I know, so. that's what I was thinking. I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not just cheap. going to, well, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to go grab some junk brushes or try to do a painting with junk brushes. So anybody that gets one of these pieces with a brush in it, they're getting one of my good ones. Mm -hmm. And that's okay by me. The biggest laugh in the world is that when I, my accountant said one time you got to spend more money on art supplies because I my art supplies is our lowest cost of what we do in business here. So um, Greg Mastriardi has a million dollar idea. He says we should patent and sell the shirt that you're wearing. <laughs> the painting smock. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Uh, wait wait, wait a second it. guys. I've worn this before. Nobody's ever mentioned about the smock. Why all of a sudden? <laughs> Probably because of the big suchu on the back. That, and that's a hand done one yeah, by suchu. As a matter of fact if you ever watch the videos, the, 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 I always have some little joke. A lot of times I have jokes. I'm going to get rid of this pen. I don't need it because it doesn't advertise me. No, I'm just kidding. And when you watch our videos, I got a purple pen here too. You'll see right at the end the little, the little squirrel. Easy skippy, right? That's what, yeah, we, I chuckle every time I see it because it's my voice. Anyway, my logo here is Easy. So that's my logo for Easy Skippy. Yeah, patent the shirt. Jesus Christ. I was going to patent some pockets, though. <laughs> um, I always 
Colleen is she loves buying me really really nice shirts but on the rare occasion we get the shirts home and we realize that there's no I'm, I'm not blaming you I'm just saying because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the one well, she's rolled her eyes over here like oh, oh. who makes a man's man shirt without a pocket yeah so yeah That's so tough. yeah exactly we've got <laughs> these gorgeous shirts at least five of them by now that we didn't catch when we're buying them that they didn't have pockets and I use pockets and the reason I use pockets so much is because I don't I don't use trifocal lenses or bifocal lenses I have to have glasses that are always in my pocket and uh, so anyway I'm gonna get black pockets made and I'm gonna have a whole whack of them made and they're gonna have the Suchu logo on them and we're gonna actually I'm gonna put anytime I get a shirt Without a pocket, I'm going to put a pocket on it. And uh, I was also thinking the other day, and I don't know if it'd be kind of cool to put these lapel hooks on here, right? With oh. National Treasure. That'd be cool. That's genius and diversity. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, we're not even going to talk, but Kelsey's <laughs> over there, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, genius and diversity. Genius. Okay. So, anyway, yeah, pockets. With pockets for sale. You'll see me out in the corner of Olette and Pitt Street. Pockets for sale. But they'll have suit you on. Pockets. But probably give somebody a million dollars. Now you break Master Nardi a million dollar idea. <laughs> He's probably calling his t tailor right now. <laughs> right, Frank? <laughs> Just remember, as I'm painting this, these paintings are always for sale. The last time I paint, or the last few times, they've pretty well all sold these paintings. And I would rather have them on somebody's wall that can really appreciate them than sitting here amongst too many other ones. What? What was that supposed to mean, Rachel? Okay, so. As I'm going here, I gotta remember there's there's light that's not hitting the front of me here, so I'm gonna actually keep on doing stuff like that. And I'm sorry if this this episode is gonna bore you. It's very important to get it right. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to zoom in on that at all, or do you think mm -hmm. better not? Is it, I don't know. Can they see it? I think you have to bring it in yeah. if you want. Let's see how it looks when I do here. that. Yeah, actually, I'll be working on here for quite a while. It's got to be, if there's anything that's not consistent in here, it's going to really look bad. It's going to show up wrong. Oops, I've got a little bleed on my brush there. Of course, if it was Van Gogh, or, yeah, Van Gogh, I would have just left it. <laughs> He's the worst one for putting dirt all over his canvas. Oh. Dirty Van <laughs> Van Gogh is his name. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. <laughs> Van Gogh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, Paul oh. Williams says, I love this painting because I actually get to live it every day. Can't wait to order one. Oh, yeah, is that's Paul yeah, a rancher? Or I don't know what uh, the a name is. A farmer. Farmer? Well, a, a hobby farmer. Oh, I guess awesome. I would call it. I don't know. Maybe. He's, he's pretty, a toy farmer. He's, he's pretty, <laughs> pretty serious. Paul's a <laughs> hobby farmer. Actually, I, you know what? They're, Paul should write that. Him and his wife, Jen, should write a book. They, these guys are so neat. They, they, they've they adopted people from, over, you know, kids from overseas. And That's then so they, cool. they move from here and they go to Tennessee and they got this beautiful little farm. And, all they do is they have these these animals and every last one of them is like a, like a perfect little toy. A pet. Yeah, they're pets for sure. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but they're like perfect toys, and and they they certainly love them. I'm, I know they love their animals. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, farmers don't lo always love their animals. Mm. They just need them. So yeah, yeah, they they need them so they can cut them up and make pieces of them. You say like Summer. you say that like you're not a meat eater. <laughs> uh, well, I'm having a lot more trouble than I used to eat meat. Yeah. I crave I crave protein, but I don't like the taste of meat anymore. Yeah, I feel you. 
Security dog. Oh, well, there's Bobby. Hey. Mr. Saul just showed up. Who let him in? <laughs> he let himself in. <laughs> yeah, grab the chair right there, Bobby. That's fine. Everybody's at safe distance here, in case you're wondering. Be very, very careful with that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to try and see if I can ruin this right now. I want to get some, some dark in here. Here's where the shadow starts to happen. Watch this. This is really going to be cool. I said it's going to be cool, but it might not be... You're in pretty close. Mm -hmm. What are you chuckling about? The dog. Laughing at me. Oh, the dog. Like Sorry, we're right. focusing. Promise. Professional. <laughs> we are professionals. There's a shadow from this man being in the middle of the hallway. And if it's not there, it won't look right. But the problem with shadows like this is if they're too strong, it throws the whole thing off. Watch this one. Mm -hmm. What's that? Well, it wills too, sl too yeah, light. Yeah, too slim. Yeah. Well, he was working hard this morning. <laughs> No, I understand what you're saying. I understand. <coughs> so uh, you'll see me working back and forth, back and forth. So I'll take a pick on one piece and I'll make sure it's working. This is going to be real cool. Just so everybody knows, our, we're gonna have gonna be having our a virtual Ron stock this year for. Let me go through that a bit. A <laughs> full week, yeah. If you if you want to for a full week, we're we're looking into uh, not doing it live. Like we'll 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 um, we're looking into doing like a webinar sort of thing, a Zoom sort of, so everybody can join. It doesn't matter if you've got social media or not, but uh, we will. Uh, stream it on at the time we'll stream it on instagram and facebook at the same time we're, we're trying to get ways to have everybody join and talk and do things at the same time because we're going to have daily door prizes we're going to have uh, a couple different prizes there's going to be a grand prize we've got uh, our grand prize at the end of the week for uh, joining us for the entire week um, is going to be an Avro Arrow framed. Bob just perked up his head. <laughs> Bob didn't know. First time anybody's heard that, by the way. Um, yeah, we have a second market Avro Arrow. I think it's valued somewhere around $1,800. Yeah. And what we're thousand. doing is uh, every day, uh, I, I'll go into that a little bit because we have some sure. pretty special stuff. Every day we're going to have a framed celebrity piece of art. Every for five days in a row, six days actually, or five days plus, right? Yeah. So on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to have uh, a Sting or a Blues Brothers or a, a House of the Rising Sun or Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the David purposes. David Suzuki. And every day that week, just by you being here, you're going to be able to, to get into the contest of who's going to win those. So at the end of the week, on Saturday, we're actually going to have winners. And uh, Kelsey's got a system right now where you, by being here, we put your name into a, a thing, and then there's an electronic gizmo that gives us a, a, a random... The number generator. Yeah, the number. so it gives us a random... Uh, uh, name and and that person on Monday we will announce we will announce on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
telephones are ringing. Okay, so get those telephones ringing. No. So anyway, Monday we will have a winner, Tuesday we will have a winner, and, and all of these prizes equal over $4,000. Just those prizes alone. That's not the other stuff. And we're also going to have daily email. Uh, Kelsey, don't walk away because I'll, I'll get screwed up here. And uh, <laughs> sorry, but oh, did you do the email is email contest the other one? Yes. The, okay, so, uh, and, and that's, uh, how does it work? Go ahead, tell them. Okay, so um, the email contest, if you are on our mailing list, we're going to be sending out five questions every day of the week. So five different questions for five different days. And whoever gets all five correct will be eligible for winning a prize. Yeah, and that's called the Suchu Savvy Contest. Yes. So it, it, there, we, we went through this, and so, you know, we went through, came up with all the questions. There, there, there's some really fun stuff there. Actually, we had a couple chuckles because if you, if you know a lot about my career and you've been around for a long time, uh, you, the answers are all out there. They might be on what we've been doing here. A lot of them are on the website. We made sure that the, you can find the answers. So every day there's five, ans or five questions. Suit you savvy questions, and then uh, every day we will be announcing the winner from the day before, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So if on Monday we will be announcing Tuesday, and Tuesday we'll be announcing Wednesday, and so on and so on, and uh, yeah, it's all going to be a lot of fun. We're trying to make Ron stock. Like I said before, we can't here. We can't give you hot dogs. We can't give you cake. We can't give you the free music. So what we're going to try and do is give you uh, an experience that's stronger than we've ever we've ever been able. To. Is that loud enough? People are saying can't hear you. Wow. Okay. Um, are you? So anyway, yeah. So every uh, like this Ron stock, we're just trying to get through it. Hopefully, we have a real Ron stock next year, and we'll be back to normal. But uh, we're just going to try and make the experience a lot of fun, a lot of fun, and. Every day will be different, I think. So this is really cool. I like the shadow. Colleen was here. She'd be telling me what I'm doing wrong about it, but that's okay. That's what she's it for. Oh, there she is. Okay. Yep, I heard you. She smacked me. Freddie smacked me in the back of the head. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, real so I missed that because I was on the phone with the customer. But did no, we're just talking it? about the Ron stock being... Yeah, I think we can... We're gonna have a lot of fun. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun because you, did you mention too that we're gonna do like a Kelsey's gonna send out an email mm -hmm. with some fun questions and that'll be another way to win a prize. So every day there'll be a couple prizes somebody's gonna win. And we have another way of winning a prize too, I think, which is we're gonna we're digging through and as a matter of fact, if you got any pictures of Ron stock, we got a little bit of time. Email me. Suchu at suchu.com. Email me your pictures from Ronstock from the past, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually every day we'll put up pictures. We'll be showing pictures of Ronstock in the past, having little fun stories about it. And then if you see yourself in a picture, the first one that calls in to say they saw themselves in a picture will know that you're not lying to us because we'll be talking to you and you'll win a prize. <laughs> I think I think that's cool. Yeah, it's fun. So I got, I got lots of past pictures of our past Ron stocks. We got yeah. tons of stories. Yeah, yeah. We'll make now, sure. We'll make sure for, for sure that Bob's with us because. And now you, it might be a little shocking because I mean some of these are ten year old pictures and <laughs> we all that. we all look a little younger. <laughs> no. yeah. but I have to definitely show a post one that Ron and Joe. One of our first Ron stocks, they both dressed up. Actually, that was the year we, I think the year that we became Ron stock. Yes, yeah. That was back and when, when Wayne's World was out there. And they have the funniest hippie outfits. And Ron's got, they Wait got a, second. a headband on. But that was my normal attire yeah, yeah. at that time. Everybody <laughs> thinks I dressed up for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody else dressed up to kind of match what I was doing. <laughs> Those shadows are looking pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Should we mention about the itinerary? I don't know. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> I can say it. Say it out loud. Yeah. Loud? So Louder. 
<laughs> we will be sending out um, through social media and email just a schedule of everything going on the week of Ronstock. So if there's particular days that you know you don't want to miss, you'll have all of that information for yourself. Cool. So yeah, we'll have a little schedule so that you'll know what's going on. You can join us. Are those shadows looking right, guys? They look wonderful. Do they? Okay. Everybody wow. keep uh, watching our uh, social media, our uh, Facebook, and if we don't have your email, make sure we get your email. Yeah. That's important. It is important because for sure you'll get the schedule and everything there. I'll leave a link in the comments right now about how you can sign up to our newsletter if you guys are interested. So this is going to happen on some sort of a a webinar that we we have I guess we'll be in the center I don't even know how this works but but we'll be with you all the time and we'll actually be able to see a bunch of you guys yeah and, you know you pop in pop out whatever you want to do it's all it's all Ron stock and then uh, and again because we can't just hand you a print for free uh, over the next two or three that we do leading up to Ronstock, we're going to start to show you what you get uh, with these uh, the framing pieces and stuff. Again, we're doing it all exclusive where you can't uh, find these packages anywhere online or anything. So we're going to make sure that if you have something like that, it's that rare that nobody else gets one. And in the framing, we have, I don't know if you remember from it? last week. Yeah, well, it yeah, Colleen, you can play. I'm going to keep on working. Okay, Colleen you work and do. I'll put you talk. You want to talk or? Mm -hmm. You can take your mask off. I know you. <laughs> We're, Colleen well, and I are pretty safe together. Just kind of like we did. Kelsey, can you tell me if I've got this in yeah. view or not? You just look at the If you remember this frame, well then our man of war, think of it with. Oh, you're yeah, no, I just want to show you that this will go so lovely with our Man of War piece. Is that okay, Kelsey? Can you see that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Yes, that's going to be our uh, our special frame, and we're at, and actually Ron actually ordered the stamp already. That's going to have the Kenilworth Park stamp on it. So those colors are going to be beautiful with that. And then we're also where that where you saw that uh, we're going to be putting a real a lovely it's the reproduction. You can show it here. Let me show it there. Reproduction of a real Man of War ticket that was from Kenilworth Park here in Windsor in 1920, 20 or twenty one. Nineteen twenty. Nineteen twenty. Yes. Yes. So that was October 12th, 1920. And that uh, we're going to be putting them in your piece. And then we'll have two different, uh, we'll have other options also. So we have a nice economical, this will be good, a good price point. Mm -hmm. That we'll have our uh, rustic walnut piece that I know a lot of people have had these. <laughs> Maybe if you want and our them. saddle brown. This is a nice one too. Here, I'll show you these two. How's that? That's good. And then down the other. There yes. you go. Yes. <laughs> and of course, we'll do mats that will, uh, if you look at these, they all go really nicely with them. These colors. Well, I want to paint. Sorry. But see the colors we've chosen. And then, of course, we'll have the right mats. We'll do different mats so everybody's got choices of that. And then, don't forget, which I'm really excited about, is the printer's proof. Keep going. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the printer's proofs only. We are going to have the ticket, this beautiful frame with the Kenilworth logo on it. It will be matted beautifully. And we are going to have one of the paintbrushes that Ron is painting in this piece. So that's going to be in the printer's proof. 
and there'll be discounts for you because the print is worth $125. So when you frame, you will get that off for sure. But it, when you, so you'll basically just be paying for the price of the frame. And you'll get the, the print for free. Mm -hmm. But Kelsey will send all of both that information out eventually. And, and uh, enough selling, let's get back to paint. No. Yeah, but no, I'm just, yeah. just saying. Yeah, just saying. No, I, I, we. If anybody does want to call me though and get the, yeah. the you know, if they're really interested and want one now because I know everybody likes to get their printer's proof or number one or whatever, if they really want to, they can. Give me a buzz and I'll give them all oh, the yeah, information. Should say that. You know, a lot of times we they sell, I, we've had them where they sell out the artist proofs and the press proofs before we ever finish the painting yes. too. So people got to realize that if you do want your special number, it's the time to order. And you get all of the, you get all the Ron Stock promotional stuff right now, uh, all of the, uh, the specials and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Wrong stuff. So, uh, uh, we think we're going to have hot dogs though that weekend. Right? Yeah, we're going to have hot dogs. Yeah, we're going to have hot dogs. Just us. Yeah. <laughs> we're just, just to bug everybody, we're going to get some of those bread or hot dogs. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get the slushy machine. We'll sit here and eat hot dogs. <laughs> maybe I'll get the slushy machine going. <laughs> we'll have mustard and ketchup all over our faces. <laughs> Hey, you know what? What we should do? Everybody go out and, and get yourself some Brenner's, Brenner's hot dogs. Yes. Yeah, and when we're online that day, we'll have a special time where we have lunch we'll together. We'll all eat hot dogs together. We have a Zoom thing. Everybody. You know, we'll have, yeah, that's Zoom, right. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be like that. I think that I don't know if it's Zoom or whatever. Kelly's got up her sleeve. Or I'm Kelsey. still weighing them. It's what? I'm still weigh weighing them. Yeah. yeah. So she's going to find the best format and the best way of doing this. But yeah, we should have lunch. We can together. all have a Ron Stock party. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get the Thompson cake, Bev's cake, and we'll ship a piece to everybody else. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it out at the gate and you can come by and pick a piece of it. <laughs> so anyway, my daughter's in Finland and the Finnish people are amazing people. They really are. They uh, they care for the, each other, and I, I I honestly wish that can Canadians were just a little bit more like they are in the respect that Ava had her wedding, and what they did is we we sat oh. there and we made sandwiches, wonderful sandwiches with buns and that, really nice sandwiches, and uh, the day that later that afternoon we had so many sandwiches left over, she put them in in boxes. And it, You'd never see this happen in Canada. In wrapped them all in. She's in an apartment building. They go online to say if anybody needs some free food, come by this address and pick up a sandwich or whatever you want. And literally, in an hour or two, those sandwiches were all gone. People came by. Yeah. And you saw them then. And they weren't like trying to hoard them or no. anything else. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. And that's because they trust everybody. Yeah. They know that no no funny stuff is going to be in the sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never thought of that. That is why. They're that, no, they're that honest with each yeah. other. Yeah. yeah. So are these shadows? I'm not wandering off somehow, eh? Just let me know if it starts looking bad. Yeah, looking good. That's the funny thing is, once in a while, you're going along and you don't realize that you made something go wrong. I'm hungry for a vegan hot dog. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> vegan hot dogs and regular hot dogs. Yeah, they're probably the same thing. <laughs> well, there's no difference in the material. They're the same. We got 12 minutes. You got the exact same amount of meat in a vegetarian hot dog. <laughs> 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 Yes, I did. Thank you. That's amazing. Only 12 minutes left? Mm -hmm. Wow. We've been chitter chatting a lot here. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to get a long way into this. The next time you come back, we're going to actually have a bit more happening in here. And you know what? I just thought it would be kind of cool. I'm going to just do this. If it goes wrong, that's too bad. 
But having a little bit of water by the door would be neat, eh? So let's just say there's a little wait. There's a little puddle of water here somewhere. I don't know if we can do it. Yeah. They must have sprayed down the, the stables here. That looks really nice. Oh, that looks, that turned out nice. That looks real good. Here's my little brush here. <laughs> my little stick. Hopefully you're going to be able to, I don't think you're going to see what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to. I'm sorry, but there's a big spider hand down here. <laughs> <laughs> that big spider. <laughs> you guys, this is a little tiny baby. Big spider. Here goes the first brush, guys. We're gonna do it. I'm using the first brush to, that's gonna be given away. It's this one here, here. So you can double check. See? Yeah, it's so cool. Can you see details there? A little height. A little bit of writing on there. Okay. So anyway, this is gonna be the very first brush that we set aside. Oh. Okay. This will be in a press proof package. This brush, and I'm using it to highlight the door. The edge of the door, because the sun's going to be hitting that full blast. And without that being there, oh look at That's that! Cool. Look at that! And then you can have. You want me to leave the. You want me to leave the paint on the brush? Let it, sure. Yeah, that. Yeah, that'll be printer's proof number one. Okay. Excuse me, because I'm gonna bag them and number them. Bag them. <laughs> bag them for Alan. Bag them, Vance. Yeah. Bag your Vance. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the highlight on the other side of the door right here. Here. I guess my paper works. Smash me one. What a difference that makes. It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> and just the teeniest bit is going to happen on the back of the buttons because the light might just hit right here. I got a hair on can't have a hair on the brush. Oh, it's gone. So, press proof number one brush. Now, I know at one time those brushes were made of hair. Oh, real, yeah, they are. They're, real they're, hair. They're are sable. they still or they're yeah, synthetic? These are, no, these are sable. Okay. I don't buy anything less than the best. Well, I don't know nowadays, though. Like, obviously, it makes a difference when you paint, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's um, if you want to use a brush, you want it to do the same thing it always did. If you go to synthetics, you never know if it's going to work or not. Okay. I got to know that my brushes are going to work for me. Um, Frank Mastronardi wants the first brush. <laughs> okay. There you go. And he also wants to know how many. I think fifteen, right? Ten. 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 Okay. Ten. 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 Ten, Frank. Better write his name on it. Can I have that brush, please? Are you done with it? Yes, I'm done. Okay. Can I have it, please? And I'll sign it for you, Frank. <laughs> sign the brush? Yeah, I'll sign it. it. It won't be easy to see, but it'll be signed. Okay. Okay, Frank. This one's yours. <laughs> this one's mine. That's fun. We have fun here at Suchi Art. <laughs> You know what, 2020 was a disappointment, but we got through it. I think we had probably as much fun as we've ever had, other than no Longstock. I'm looking over at Bob, because I know we all had fun, I think. But we did get older, didn't we, guys? A few extra pains. <coughs> a few extra what? A few extra pains this year, for some reason. I said painting. Pains. <laughs> Pains and pain pains. Yeah, we've been pretty productive. I've been enjoying it. My God, it's. You know what? Maybe it, I maybe I needed the reason to. Maybe I had to be forced into this, right? What? Maybe I had to be forced into working. <laughs> if it was too easy, I, I would just sit I around, know, I, sit I, around, and do nothing all day long. I yeah. I have fun coming in here. Yeah. yeah, we usually just sit around and do nothing all day. I don't mm -hmm. think there's a day around here that isn't 10 hours mm -hmm. of non-stop. Yeah, that's true. And Kelsey, that is poor true. Kelsey, she's learning what real life is all about. <laughs> <laughs> poor Kelsey. Yeah, yeah. She had jobs that were, <laughs> yeah, she had those regular jobs that, you know, oh yeah, I'll get that done tomorrow. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. And do something yeah. wrong around here, Kelsey? What do you think, hey? 
Do something. Something wrong. That's yeah, you happen to do something wrong here? Sheesh. Yeah. There'll be hell to pay. Yeah. Wow, that's actually looking pretty yeah, good. No, I'm actually you know, happy. We all sit and discuss it for <laughs> 20 minutes yeah. to figure out where we all went uh, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's so connected. So yeah. kind of have to. Yeah. And Frank Mastrino also says one of the kind of the tricks probably people do it. Right? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. you got those trust yeah. proof number you one. You got trust proof number one, Frank. So we, we should probably start it. People are interested already. We should start the pre-production thing. <laughs> they already have it. All the goodies that we're giving. That's true. Oh yeah, right. But they can call in, right? Oh yeah, yeah. no, we yeah. should absolutely. You know what? Mm -hmm. That's how people get their numbers, right? Because I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy. I love the pails. The bucket, the the inside of the, it almost looks like the water slopping or something. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> it's the edge of the bucket. So is one water and one oat, or are they both oats? They're both oats. Okay. <laughs> He's a big horse. Would he actually get two buckets of oats? Uh, he was a pig for, for like, they actually talked about how oh. he, he, he's kind of a, a glutton on, on oats, which... It's probably not a lot good for an animal, but he was huge. He was a monster animal. Yeah. Huge, huge animal. Why am I singing? I'm singing Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> that in my head, that song that we had in the, the Blue Nose. Does Man of War have a song? Not that I know of. If anyone knows a song of Man of War, link it in the comments. <laughs> wow. You know, I like when a plan goes together. This was a scary one because of the way I, I, I've reversed my layers here. Right, so I've done it all backwards and it's worked out. I, I think it's worked out real slow. Oh, wow. Yes. What's that? When you see it on the video camera, wow, you look nice. Oh yeah. Looks yeah. like bright. somebody knows what they're doing. <laughs> you think? Yeah. What? Wow. Make Will a little rounder, though. He's got to. No, I'm not making Will rounder. I he's, meant his waist. No, no, I'm not making him rounder. He's big enough. I, I actually, the reason is because this is right off of his picture. Okay. I mean, excuse me, but. That, Well, because you're seeing the oh, here. You know what? I'll just ruin the painting right now. See? No. I should have done that actually. I did ruin it. No. Anyway, uh, it's when when you it's like those old X-ray glasses. Remember the X-ray glasses? Yes. You know how they work? No. When they you looked at them, it blurred like that, so it made everything look skinny, and it looked like you were looking at a guy's at somebody's uh, skeleton. So the, we should have more of those. When I started this, <laughs> when I started this, I gotta watch it because I'm gonna mess things up now. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay, well, that's as good as you're gonna get. We're probably running out of time here. Yeah, you got a minute. So we're going to be back at this, oops, just for you, hold on, hold on, hold on, I can't, I can't walk away for a second, there, okay, so anyway, on Friday at 12 o'clock we'll be here, and we'll probably run through everything again, but, uh, uh, and uh, what else, I think we're going to be talking a bit more about uh, rod stock as we go along, because this is all building up to rod stock. And then within the next couple times, we should be able to start to show you the frame. I think as soon as we get the stamp in, I'm going to make up a frame, and we'll, we'll show you what we're going to be doing there. So anyway, until Friday, uh, thanks for coming by, guys. Get all of your horse lover friends to show up at this, okay? I mean, 
there's millions of them out there. So why don't we have like at least a half a million online right now? <laughs> anyway. Or history lovers. Yeah, history lovers. Ah, Windsor don't worry people. about history. Don't worry about Windsor. Just worry about horses. Hot stock, hot dogs. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> hot dog eaters. So, yeah, I get all your horse loving people to come here and, and they're going to critique me. And you'll see, and I said to Kelsey earlier today, if I, if I, the only way to really ruin this painting is if that doesn't look like Man of War when it's done. I'll guarantee that will be a good portrait of Man of War. Okay, we'll see you Friday, 12 o'clock. Take care. Bye-bye.